we know that an adjective is a describing word and it is used with a noun or pronoun to add something to its meaning. For example, it is a cold day. In this sentence, cold is describing the noun day. It is giving us more information about it. Hence, cold is an adjective. Now, let us read this sentence. Which project are you working on now? Now, in this sentence, the word which is describing the noun project. It is also helping us to ask a question. Hence, this word which, which is describing the noun project, is an interrogative adjective. So, what is an interrogative adjective? Interrogative adjectives are words that modify nouns in interrogative sentences. So, they are used to ask questions. Words like which, what, whose are examples of interrogative adjectives. What music is Billy listening to? Now, in this sentence, what is modifying the noun music? It is helping us to ask a question. Hence, this is an example of interrogative adjective. Whose dress are you wearing? Whose is modifying the noun dress and helping us to ask a question? Hence, in this sentence, whose is an interrogative adjective. Now let us read these two sentences. Which is the highest mountain? Which mountain is the highest? Now both these sentences have the word which, but which sentence has the word which used as an interrogative adjective? Let us see. Now in the first sentence, which is the highest mountain? Which stands alone? Whereas in the second sentence, which mountain is the highest, which is followed by a noun and modifies it? Mountain is the noun that is following which and which is being modified by the word which. Hence, which is the highest mountain has the word which, which is an interrogative pronoun. Whereas the second sentence, which mountain is the highest, has the word which used as an interrogative adjective. Now let us do this exercise. Fill in the blank with the appropriate interrogative adjective. Dash phone did you use to call me? The options given to us are whom, who, whose. We know that whom is not an interrogative adjective. Can we say who phone did you use to call me? No, it does not make any sense. So this is also not the correct option. Hence, our correct option is whose and we will write our sentence as whose phone did you use to call me? So what did we learn today? Today we have learned about a particular kind of adjective known as the interrogative adjective. We have seen what it is and how we use them in sentences. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.